Today I'm going to show you the way that I sprout my broccoli seeds. They, it's quick, it's easy, it's foolproof. Um, this is basically what they turn out like when you're done. Um, they come out in a big clump here. So those are the sprouts. You can put them on salad. You can put them in wraps. Uh, I blend them and eat them that way. Uh, but they're... I mean, they actually kind of taste just like broccoli. Um, highly nutritious. Of any of the sprouts, these are, from my um, research, these are the healthiest. More than sunflower sprouts, more than like alfalfa sprouts. Broccoli sprouts are the best. You pay so much for them at the store, and yet you can grow something like this. This must cost you five bucks. You can grow it, you know, for a quarter. Um, the hardest part is just getting your broccoli seeds. Now I got mine from a wholesale whole, wholesale company in um, in the Eugene, Oregon area. This is uh, I had a, like five pound bag or something. They're pretty expensive to be honest. I think they're like ten dollars or twelve dollars a pound for the seeds. They're pretty expensive, but you have to keep in mind that they'll grow ten times their weight by the time they sprout. So if you're paying ten dollars a pound by the time they sprout. You're probably only paying about two, three dollars a pound at most, and you gotta imagine that most uh, lettuces and greens and stuff that you buy at farmers markets or grocery stores, you're paying six, seven dollars a pound anyway. So it's actually cheaper to do it this way. Anyway, what you need basically you need two things. You need your broccoli seeds. Here's a quarter cup. I recommend a quarter cup for each mason jar, and uh, you can buy these lids on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. These are sprouting lids. They have holes in them. If you don't want to or can't afford these, what you can do is just get your regular mason jar lid and I'll get some uh, cheesecloth, uh, which is used for basically when you're making cheese. Um, and I'll put it over top, screw this on, and it'll be a fine mesh. And you can reuse that if you want. You can get cheesecloth in most um, like home goods stores or kitchen stores, that sort of thing. Um, but if not, um, I bought this. I normally don't buy these sort of like trinkety gadget things, you know. Um, I usually just try to find a way to do it without it. But this is really, really convenient. And I would probably recommend getting a couple of these. It takes about four days. Anywhere from three to five days, six days to sprout them to this condition. Uh, but... Uh, so maybe having a couple of these on hand would be nice. So you get your clean mason jar. Make sure it's clean. That's another thing. You don't want to grow any mold or anything. I haven't had any problems with it. I don't sanitize these before use. This is my third batch in three weeks. And I haven't like soaped, used any soap or anything. And these, the trick is you want them to smell odor, pretty much odorless. When you're, every day I'll rinse it out and I'll show you how I do this. You want to sniff it. When you drain it, you sniff it, and uh, you want to make sure that you're not smelling anything. Really, there should be almost no smell at all. What I noticed in Oregon when I was doing them is I'd get like a little odor, and I'm sure it was fine, but it kind of turned me off to the whole thing because I'm like, uh, maybe I don't want to be sprouting this, you know, but I found a new method to do it here, and it's worked out great, and I want to share it with you. So quarter cup of seeds will give you uh, that much of broccoli. In they go. And then what I'll do is I'll soak this in, um, I have filtered water, on, and I'll fill this up right now. Alright, so what you want to do, you want to fill it up so they're all completely soaked and they'll, they'll, they'll sink um, you let this sit for a day 24 hours you let it sit completely soaked just like this completely soaked and then uh, every day I'll do an update but basically what you do is tomorrow I'll empty this out 
and I'll lay it on its side like this with the lid on so that the seeds are moist but they're not wet. Lay it like this and twice a day I'll put water in it, swish it around, rinse it out. I'll do that in the morning and in the evening. You want to keep them moist at all times. They cannot dry out at all. Don't keep them in the sun. Keep them somewhere in the shade in your kitchen. And I just basically, you just rinse them out and uh, get that extra water out and just let them sit with the ability to drain. And in four to five days, six days, you'll have your batch of broccoli seeds. So we'll check back and I'll show you guys uh, what, how they're doing. And if you're interested, this is sort of kind of random. Uh, I'm going to make another video on how to naturally get rid of moles. And right now I'm in the process of getting rid of mine. And I'm going to just share it with you guys. I'm going to do a separate video that's going to have the whole process and everything in it. But I just want to show you guys. It's looking pretty gnarly. I'm going to be honest with you. These are the two there. The quality of this camera probably... isn't good enough but basically the mold turned from brown to red in like two days and uh, now it has a black spot on the top kind of looks like a gnarly pimple with like a black tip and basically that black will spread the whole thing will turn black and fall off in two weeks so I'll share, share that with you guys if you want to um, get rid of that stuff naturally I know that going to the dermatologist you're on a six month waiting list it's expensive um, some insurances won't cover it and this is a much painless foolproof process that you can just get rid of that stuff naturally for pennies 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 thanks guys for watching uh, happy sprouting